Hi, this is Shady Atia, professor at Liège University in Belgium, and today's lecture is about open science, and it's a beginning on a, of a playlist on uh, open science. Well, the objective of today's presentation is to understand the meaning and value of open science, support researchers to practice open access in research and master its strategies. The content of today's presentation is simply describing what is open science, science what are their benefits, and what are the principles behind it, and some conclusion, concluding remarks. Let's start first talking about open science. Well, open science, it's a movement to make scientists, scientific research and its dissemination accessible to all levels of society. Open science is transparent and accessible knowledge that is shared and developed through collaborative networks. And as you can see, it has different uh, components, including open source, open methodology, open peer review, open access, open education resources, and open data. Well, what are the benefits of open science? And why is open science relevant? Well, beneficially, it is beneficial to the society because it makes science available and distinguishes science from pseudoscience. We are in a time where we have difficulties with a lot of noise, with a lot of uncertainty, a lot of spread of uncertainty and uh, uh, um, doubt. So the only way to go through that and break those, uh, this type of noise and these walls of noise is to promote open science. Second benefit of open science is the level of playing field. Well, it levels the playing field simply by allowing everybody to operate by the same rules and best practice. It makes it easier to collaborate and, uh, and advance, and it allows others to contribute to science, bringing more perspectives and insights, and finally reducing the difference between the North and the South and between different countries. The third benefit of open science is the accuracy. Well, it promotes an accurate verification of scientific results because it provides the basis for scientific claims, allows for self-correction and open peer review, and in this sense it allows to revisit the assumptions and reproduce the experiment in the, in the no now and in the future with better uh, scientific uh, means. And this is another aspect that we should take into account. Uh, if we allow open science, we will be having records and depositories and data sets that can be accessed in the future, and we will be able to allow others to check our work. And even if we make mistakes, I hope they are not intentional, we can have a higher transparency, which finally will seek, allow us to seek the truth and have better uh, understanding of the world around us. Now, moving to the third part of the presentation of today, what are the principles of open science? Well, what are the open science values and guiding principles? As you can see, there's different values. The main values of open science are mainly quality and integrity, uh, collective benefit, equity and fairness, and diversity and inclusiveness, according to the UNESCO recommendation on open science. When we move from the values to the principles, there is very important principles, uh, six important principles that are uh, governing the open science movement. Number one, transparency, scrutiny, critique, and reproducibility. Equality of opportunities. Number three, responsibility, respect, and accountability. Number four, collaboration, participation, and inclusion. Number six, flexibility, and finally number, uh, sorry, number five, flexibility, and finally number six, sustainability. So those are the principles that open science is based on. This brings me to the end of today's presentation, and I would like to share with you some conclusive remarks. Well, many of our data sets are, or our hard drives, and many of our scientific papers are in paywalled journals, and therefore open science is an opportunity to avoid this approach and share. You never know what happens, so it's always beneficial to let the chain of knowledge and the chain of experiences pass to the following generation. It is time to share them with a wider audience because sharing is caring if you really care about humanity and you make, make sure that you can go beyond your uh, personal uh, objective and life and interest and think about the collective interest. Really, open science can be beneficial in this sense and it can be a bridge that will allow you to share this information while uh, uh, keeping credit to your work and your contribution. Open science requires an enabling policy for sure environment and infrastructure and services. It's not something like we can uh, 
propagate or uh, uh, promote without money, without infrastructure. To promote open science, we need a very good infrastructure because it will be mainly uh, data centers, it will be uh, labs, it will be rules that will allow us to share and to access this information on the long term. So it's very important to prepare the resources, whether they are a human being or uh, hard uh, uh, physical resources, that we can contain it. And open science also has a cost because sometimes publishing in open access or publishing or sharing a data set requires a cost. So with the promotion of data science, there should be also budgeting and financial aspects to support this movement. Invest in your training. My advice to you is to invest in training, education, digital literacy, and capacity building for open science. If you have any opportunity to learn about open science, don't hesitate to join it and be part of the open science culture overall because this is a very good uh, way to make sure that what we do as scientists is not closed, is not um, uh, locked, and it is accessible for others in any case in the future. Well, by that I end up today's presentation. Don't hesitate to share this presentation if, if you find it uh, useful. There will be follow-up videos on open access, open data, open peer review, and author rights. If you have any comment, if you have any complementary information, if you want to fact check, check fact what I'm, I'm, I'm presenting, don't hesitate to interact with me in the comments. I, by that, I thank you very much for your attention. Today's lecture was about open science. Thank you very much.